So, is, um, Hugh coming by? Oh, yeah, he's coming later. He had to work. Um, what about you? Um, you know, you've been seeing that nurse. Is she coming tonight? I, I actually haven't been seeing anybody, oh. but, um... But? What? Are we ever going to go out again? Hey, I thought you can help me set up these gnomes. I was getting you hot chocolate. You know, these gnomes are part of the Balsam family tradition, you know. Since when? Since I picked them up cheap at a garage sale last year. You know, I think maybe I should rethink this. Maybe we should take them over to the hotel, you know, have one of those mom and son bondage times before I go away. Uh, you're going somewhere? Oh, I forgot to tell you, yeah. I'm uh, ha hopping a gambling cruise to uh, Puerto Mallorca. You know, just for the holidays. Wow, well, take it easy at the open bar and bring me back something nice. If you're lucky, baby. So what are you doing for the holidays? Oh, I've got some options. You know, I just haven't decided yet. Oh, God, I'm sorry for you. Oh, what's the hurry? Oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I get a massive headache. You need something for it? Yeah. I need your brother's head on a big silver platter. Not a lot of work for a guy with no education, skills, or experience. Not true. The lieutenant governor's job is still available. David, uh, excuse us. Um, Matthew has something that he wishes to say to you. I read what you said about Star's dad. Shouldn't you be reading comic books? It's like this one kid, Nelson, in my class. He doesn't really talk to anybody, so nobody really likes him. What does this have to do with me? Well, every day he writes in this journal, and somebody got it and read it. And it was a book about trashing everybody. So now everybody hates him. I just think he's lonely, like you. I mean, for you to write all that stuff in the magazine so then everybody can read it? Matthew, I know this probably sounds lame, but I didn't write that article. You're right. It is lame. And I feel sorry for you. Yes. Uh, Jessica's pregnant, but uh, she's trying to keep it quiet. Why? Oh, my God. I can't imagine she doesn't want Mommy, no. Come on, she wants this baby more than anything. I don't know what her reasons are for not wanting to talk about it, but we're just going to have to respect her. All right. Got another grandchild. It's wonderful news. Well, we better hurry up if we're going to make it to Angel Square. Thank yeah. you. All right, I'm let's take my car. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, your mother and I will we'll meet you over there. All right. Come on, okay. let's go. All right. What's up? Uh, earlier tonight at the door, it was uh, Dallas. What happened? She's left me. I am so, so sorry. I always liked Dallas. I hope this had nothing to do with what happened last night. No, no, no. It had nothing to do with you. Everything to do with me. I spent so much time here with the family, I didn't pay any attention to her. Well, you can hardly be faulted for that right now. Vicki, I love the woman. I should have found the time. Well, if you need a friend, I'm here. Well... Right now, I need a friend to escort me to the Christmas tree lighting in Angel Square.
So, how did it go with Matthew? Oh, pretty well, I think. He's in the bathroom right now. I'm pretty sure I made him sick. Well, here's something to make you feel good about yourself. Hot chocolate. Did you sweeten it with rat poison? It's Christmas, David. We can hate each other again after New Year's. Thanks, Renee. So, um, where are you going to spend Christmas with your brother? Not if I have any say about it. Huh. He's always been quite a gentleman with me. Beware, Renee. He's his most polite right before he slits your throat. It's very important. Oh, oh, oh there's Mom. Mommy! Oh, yes! Um, I'm gonna go great. get some cider. Great, great. Well... Oh, if uh, one of those is for Blair, I'll take it to her. Thank you. It is? And I won't trouble you with it. Oh, I want you to stay away from Blair. After the day she's had, Dorian. No thanks to that despicable brother of yours. Or thanks to him. <laughs> Have a happy holiday, Dorian. David, what have you gotten yourself into this time? I suppose you have to get ready for your speech. Oh, well, there'll be no speech. Mm. They asked me to push a button, that's all I'm gonna do. I remember how you always hated the spotlight. Mm. Anyway, I better go find the Vegas, see if they've heard from Christian. Hey. How long is this gonna go on? You and me treating each other like like strangers, like we were never even friends. Michael, honestly, I really didn't even think that you were still interested in going out with me anymore. Come on, Marcy. You know how I feel. I know how you feel. How do you know? Well, anybody who reads your blog knows that. <laughs> Marcy, I want to try again. Oh, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. But after everything we've been through, don't you think that we deserve another chance? Oh, let's go take a seat. Take a little treat. Okay. but I don't really want to get into it with Carlotta tonight about Christian. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, it didn't take them long, did it? Natalie, don't. Please don't. Remember our pact? No problems, not tonight. You're right. So, yeah, I'll meet up with you guys in a few minutes, okay? I'm so happy, even though I can't tell anybody. <laughs> Hola, familia. Feliz Navidad. Jamie, Merry Christmas. Oh, Grandpa RJ and I have been excited to show you the tree all day long. Yeah, and since it's right over here, I'm sure Poppy won't mind a bit if we go look at it. Jessica, uh, how are we feeling these days? <laughs> Come on, honey, it's right here. Hey, Mommy, would you mind uh, keeping an eye on things for me? I'm gonna go uh, speak to Jessica for a minute, okay? I'm sorry, I should have warned you about the money. I'm sure you... Oh, Antonio, it's fine. I mean, it's not like we can keep it a secret for much longer. I'm really showing. Something wrong? No, I just keep expecting Brennan to show up any minute. Oh, yeah. He was taking the first flight out. I mean, he should be here by now. What do you do? I'm calling Nash. Why are you doing that? I just don't want him to catch me off guard. I could let Tess out. I just want to be ready. 